who are you? We don't really know how to like start this video. It's really uncomfortable and um, if you guys don't follow us on Instagram, you guys wouldn't know. Um, I feel like right now, it's like we feel, I feel, well, I'm not going to speak for you. I, it kind of just feels like numb in a way. Yeah. Like it doesn't feel, like I don't even know how to describe it. And like we're still going through like the like grief stages or whatever. Like one moment I'll be super upset and then the next like I'll be like super angry. Two weeks ago, um... We were an actual mess. Sorry if I sound like really like monotone. Like I don't even know how to like say this. Yeah. I'm kind of just like disconnecting myself from whatever because I know if like I, I don't know, I'll just start like crying. To begin with, we did want to start a family. Yeah. We, I think we, we tried like two cycles. Like it took us two months. Yeah. I'm using a shot glass. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. I'm gonna wait five minutes and then I'll be right back. No, negative. No. Maybe I'm just going crazy, but who knows. I'm just documenting this because I just want to look back on it and see how many months or if it takes years to get pregnant. Um, I just want to document everything. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is negative. Um, yeah, I think it's negative. No rush. God's timing. We got this. I have a feeling I'm going to get pregnant in November or December. I, don't, I just have this feeling. Next month. On Thanksgiving, uh... We uh, found out the best news. Um... Okay, hear me out. <laughs> it's only nine days post ovulation. So it's super, no wait, I'm 10 days post ovulation. But sis is very impatient and my boobs have been hurting. I know that's TMI, but let's just be real. And I'm like, why not? It's Thanksgiving. It's so early to tell, and this is like a crappy pregnancy test. I just want to do this for funsies. I don't know why I do this to myself. I'm going to cover it. Okay, I'm going to wait like... I'm nervous all of a sudden. I'm going to wait like three, four minutes. Okay. No way. I need to like calm down because my heart's like, oh. what the? F sorry, I'm like, sorry, I like, and I just drank a coffee, so I'm like, my chest is on my floor. <laughs> Oh my god, do I tell my parents today? Jalen's gonna be home soon. Oh my god. Guys, I need to show. Okay. Do you see that? Sorry, I'm like shaking right now. Do you see that? That's a second line. Holy. F oh my god. I look so gross right now. Oh my god. I need to go to the drugstore to get a clear blue one. Oh. Oh my god, I'm in shock. 
Holy She had surprised me because she obviously found out first and I'm still shaking. I'm really excited, but I'm like super shaky right now because I'm like still in shock. Um, I did my makeup really quick. Sorry if the camera is like shaky. I'm literally like holy shit. Um I did my makeup really quick. I tried to put eyelashes on, but my hands were too shaky to do it. So I tried to get ready super quick and Jalen just got home and I was like, okay, I need to go to my mom's house to pick something up, but I'm going to um, the drugstore right now to get a clear blue one. And I wanted to tell him in such a cute way, but I literally can't keep it a secret. Like I need to tell him right now because <laughs> I'm at the light, Walgreens is open. <laughs> this doesn't feel real. I want the one that literally just says like pregnant on it. I'm gonna get this one. Okay, let's go. He's downstairs. I'm telling him I'm filming something right now. Can this open? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, it's loading. Come on. Oh my god, last one. This is the longest. I was so excited um i feel like a lot of like people can relate to this and like once you like get that positive test like i feel like everything like instantly changes and you just like are so excited and you just like imagine just i don't know how to describe it it's just like the best feeling yeah and then i told jalen that day Why, why? <coughs> we both have to open it. Uh, did you already open it? No way. You're lying. You're lying. No. No. No, you're lying. I know. I'm like shaking. Babe, open it. Oh my god. Because I woke up and my boobs really hurt. <laughs> oh my god. This is the best Thanksgiving ever. I... Oh my god. Babe, look at my hands. Oh my god. I know, I can literally feel you shaking. What do you think? We're gonna be the best parents ever. Oh my god, this is real. It's it's happening. It's happening. I love you so much. I love you too, babe. He's even kissing me with lipstick on. You know it's real. I knew something was up. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love you. We're gonna be the best parents ever. This is insane. This is insane. Yeah. Um. And then instantly we started, you know, spreading the news to, you know, her, her family, family friends. friends, my family, my friends. And, um, you know, you'll see the reactions, you know, that we captured from them. Mom? Amy? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No! Are you serious? Happy Thanksgiving. Are you for real? Yeah. I just found out like Are you like years. you're not I joking, just, right? No, I, I just found, found out. I swear to God. Minutes. You're like you ain't <laughs> with me, right? <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't keep it a secret. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> you no, I'm so excited. I can't even stand it. Well, you just hate on a second. <laughs> I was just excited. Oh, oh my and god. I got a whole bunch of stuff for you. <laughs> so don't tell me I'm not excited. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Mom. If you only knew how much you were loved before you even came Literally. here, you have no idea. Jalen's about to pick his mom up from the airport and she has no idea. So Jalen got these balloons and then Jalen, he's so sweet, he ordered this on Etsy because his mom is like a huge Yankees fan. Why am I so nervous? Okay, Jalen just texted me saying that he's passing the grocery store, which is right by us. Okay, I'm gonna unlock the door. Oh, I got butterflies. Shut up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 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 oh my 
it's on the oh 28. God. What? Oh my god. When's the due date? August 5th. <laughs> What's one thing you're thankful for? I am thankful for good health. I have one more thing you can be thankful for. Are you s nah, you're joking, you're joking. No, I'm not. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Here, you have to open this one first. Here you go, Grandpa. Oh, oh, look. Oh. Read it. <laughs> Estimated 2022. Oh, this is Great cool. Great Grandma. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No way. No fucking way. I didn't get it. I didn't get it! Oh, oh no! <laughs> That's where we're at this morning. We had our first appointment this morning. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh my god. god! I got you in Oh my god! Nico, I need help with the TikTok. <laughs> go. Oh my god. This, this is a prank. No, I swear on my life. Uh -uh. I, do you I not swear see how on my, like, life. my eyes are like, I bawled my head off just now. You think it's a prank? <laughs> he thought it was a prank. <laughs> you want to be auntie or aunt? Because, <laughs> uh. Dude, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh. And then we were just like ecstatic just for like the next, I guess that just the whole process, you know, like girl or a boy or, you know, have our first ultrasound and hear the heartbeat or, you know, see the ultrasound and stuff like that. So we we're just very eager just to start that whole process. We had the app, you know, that mm -hmm. would tell you, you know, all the stuff. So every night, you know, we're both looking, you know, we had it on both our phones. So like we could see, you know, the size, and I gave them nicknames, you know. It's Vlogmas Day 4 today. If you guys look back at Vlogmas Day 4, you, you in the beginning of the vlog, I'm talking about, like, how I'm not in the best mood. It's because of my pregnancy hormones. They're doubling every day. Five weeks pregnant today, and um, it says to eat, like, a lot of oranges because it has folic acid in it. This is what it looks like now. Can you guys see? Yeah, that's what it looks like right now. It looks like a freaking tadpole, but you can see the heart. Yeah, it's literally got a tail. It's 0 0.3 inches and 0 0.01 ounces. Two more weeks until I announce that I'm pregnant. Um, the baby's the size of a strawberry. What? Isn't that insane? It's two inches. Who are you? Okay. <sighs> I'm so out of breath. We had our first ultrasound. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like the first video of us like actually talking about it. Um, we're about to go to our first appointment. I'm really nervous. We were getting ready and we're like, this feels like we're getting ready for like the first day of school. I just hope everything's okay. I think it will be. Oh yeah. It is December 28th. Today on my app it says that I am eight weeks, four days. The baby is the size of a raspberry. Raspberry um, gummy bear. So we'll see on this ultrasound thing what the baby's measuring up at and if there's multiple babies in there. Jalen's family, twins run. Like yes, what is it on? they like, run deep on yeah. both sides. There's a lot of twins on his side of the family, so I'm kind of curious to see if we're having one or two. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I'm ready, I can't wait to hear that 808. That beat, you know? That heartbeat. That beat, ooh. <laughs> we're gonna go inside, hopefully Jalen's good at filming. I got I this. Need, babe, I need you to come I got in. This. I need you to come through. Okay, I feel baby. like I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. I see okay. something. I just want to be able to get a good. Okay. Um, Has anyone ever told you that your uterus is tipped back a little bit? A vaginal ultrasound might be better if you're okay. okay with that, just so I can get a good picture. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so they're doing a vaginal one so they can see better. And my heart was racing. I just want to make sure everything's okay. No, everything's good, baby. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, is that the heart? Yeah. 
You can see the little flicker here. Oh looks... my gosh. There, now you can see it better. So this looks like a very perfect, healthy pregnancy. Yay. Oh my goodness. And there's just one? I only see one. Okay. <laughs> and I'm really kind of, you can probably feel me, I'm pushing into your spine almost. Your, your uterus is just tipped way back. So oh, okay. Hard. That's the only reason why you had trouble earlier. Otherwise, everything is perfect. Oh my goodness. Everything looked amazing. Yeah. Everything looked perfect. She said everything looked really healthy. The heartbeat was healthy. Yeah. Literally perfect. No, um, yeah, no concerns, just He literally size. looked like a gummy bear. Yeah. At around 10, wait, yeah, at around 10 weeks, we found out the gender. Babe! I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> We're about to find out the gender! I've been freaking out all day because I got this email that said um, your results will come in between 4 to... 8 p.m. It's 5.07. I've been checking my email every two seconds. <laughs> We're happy with either gender. Like, we literally could care less. Jalen's been so calm all day. I'm like, how are you this calm? What do you think it is? I think it's a girl. I literally don't know. I go back and forth every single day of what it is. Okay, let's look. <gasps> oh, shit. We're having a boy? We're having a boy. There's a penis inside of me. <laughs> yeah, with a little boy. We found out it was a boy, and um, we decided on the name Seven just because, like, we love like unique names. Number Seven is my favorite number, and I told Jalen the name, and he liked it, and it just like stuck throughout the like whole pregnancy. We would get so many different signs, oh like so many signs that it was gonna be a boy, and yeah. that. It, his name set being seven was like meant to be our first ultrasound room was room number seven yep. We went to New York if you guys watched my vlogmas you guys would have seen that we went to New York and our room number was 2114 which and if you subtract that that's seven the terminal we're at seven and there was just like so many different like things that would just pop up I was like man I feel like I feel like it's gonna be a boy mm -hmm. a little bit you know just because of that we bought a family car and when we were at the dealership, the guy that we were talking to, the freaking, um... The scratch-off ticket, it? like the lottery scratch-off ticket was the lucky seven. And so, like, when he had stepped away to go talk to the manager, I was like, that's right. I was like, look what's on his table. Like, I was like, it's the it's lucky seven scratch-off, like the lottery ticket. And it was just, like, the little things that just, like, popped up. I think it was a week after when I was 10 or 11 weeks along, um... We took the NIPT test, which is like for genetic testing and stuff, um, and it was like a smooth appointment. She yeah. um, pretty much told me like I don't really need to stress over anything because I'm so young and if I was like over 35, like the chances of having something like genetically wrong like goes up or exactly, whatever yeah. so i wasn't really like stressing about that um we i took my blood it takes like a week to get back the result or whatever and i wasn't really like thinking of anything like yeah. anything was wrong because yeah. i was almost out of my first trimester so i didn't think anything was up everything seemed fine just because of you know she was like oh you know healthy you know one week later i think it was like a monday or whatever yeah. i was like editing upstairs and I was like doing a voiceover, like trying to get this video, like a video done with. And I think Jalen and your, da your dad, your yeah, dad downstairs. Dad would, yeah, we're downstairs. Um, I noticed that I got a missed call, um, and I had a voicemail, and um, she basically, I guess I can like include the voicemail. Am I allowed to? I can like blur um, out her name. I think, yeah, I think you'll be able to. I'll yeah, include, yeah. I'll include the voicemail. Hey, this is the genetic counselor. I am calling today because unfortunately your self-free fetal DNA screening test came back as concerning in pregnancy and I wanted to talk to you more about it. The results came back negative for Down syndrome and negative for trisomy 18, but they did come back as positive or an increased risk for trisomy 13 in your pregnancy. Trisomy 13 is a very um, severe condition that typically results in mis- carriage or stillbirth during pregnancy. However, because you are 24, the chances that trisomy 13 are actually in your pregnancy, even after this positive test, is somewhere between 4 to 7%. 
So I want to tell you again, it's somewhere between 4 to 7% chance that this is true, trisomy 13 in pregnancy, but there is also a 90 you know, it's, uh, you know, somewhere between like 90, 94% chances is, is not going on either. So let us know if you have any further um, questions, concerns. I'm going to send this to you on my chart. I do want to talk to you more today. Basically, what we need is we need an ultrasound. If you come in and your ultrasound is normal, then this is likely a false positive. Give me a call back, and we have a spot for you to come in tomorrow for ultrasound if you want to do that. We have actually all day, but give me a call back, and I'm also going to send you this to you on my chart. Okay, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye. I had went downstairs to grab her some food, and then when I came up, like, she was i just could tell something was off and it was it was weird just because of the fact that it was like i was just up here and like she was fine and then like i go downstairs to grab her food and i come back up and it was just like what what happened like what the hell sorry i look a mess right now i just got the phone with the doctor <laughs> and we have an ultrasound at 2 30 so in two hours and um <sighs> I originally were gonna have an ultrasound tomorrow, but I told them that I can't, like, I can't wait. So we have it in two hours, thank God, because I don't think I would have been able to sleep tonight. We pretty much, like, needed answers that day, because I probably, we probably would have went insane. Like, I wouldn't have slept that night at all. Um, so we went in to get an ultrasound, I think it was, like, two hours later. Um, I was super anxious, like, I don't even know. Her mom, would, like, took us there because, like, we're just in, a, you know, we just didn't want to drive. Like, it was just kind of like, we had a silent car ride there, so it was just like, she was outside, and so we are on FaceTime, and she made sure, like, you know, she was listening and, like, was, you know, ready. We went in to get an ultrasound, um, and we got to see him for the first time in, like, I think it was, like, after six weeks. Yeah. Because we didn't see him since I was six weeks, and then... This, I was 12 weeks, three days, and that was the first, the second time of us actually, like, seeing him, and he looked, like, yeah, so yeah. different, and, like, so, like, perfect, and, like, yeah. amazing, like, it, like, it didn't look like anything was wrong with him. Well, at first, like, he was, he was, like, still, and then, like, mm -hmm. she kept kind of, like, moving to get, you know, her angles, and then, like, you just see him wake up and stretch, and then it was just, like, we looked at each other and it was just like, oh my gosh, he, he's got it. He's good. Like, mm -hmm. you know. And like throughout the old, just like the lady was so quiet, but like yeah. she, it didn't seem like anything was wrong. Like she definitely no. had like a poker face. Yeah. And I know that's like part that's, of their job. Yeah. Like they, the ultrasound techs can't like tell us anything until the doctor yeah. comes in, which like I totally get. Then the genetic counselor came in, um, the original lady that we had the appointment with like a week prior. And I could just tell instantly that, like, something was up, and she was, like... She she came in, immediately turned the lights on, and sat down, uh... Grabbed here. tissues. Okay, what's what's up, you know, and, um... Yeah, I literally felt like I was gonna pass out. Yeah. It was, like... I think I was in shock it at was... first, and then it, like, hit us both when she started talking about, like, the details of it. So she she basically pretty much confirmed that he had trisomy 13, which uh, honestly I didn't even know what that was no. beforehand. I just knew of trisomy 18, which was Edward syndrome, I believe, and um, another one which was Down syndrome. But I wasn't aware of trisomy 13. I feel like we had like so much hope that like we were fine because I'm only 24, and yeah. they never really see girls my age like go through this. Yeah, like. they said that he had. Trisme 13 based off the ultrasound. Pretty much he had three copies of chromosome 13 when you're only supposed to have two copies of that yeah, so that and it, that happened at um conception not like blacked out but i was just like out of it like mm -hmm. i broke down you broke down and so like at that point like i didn't listen really because i was just like it didn't feel real. Like, yeah, it just, like, it literally felt like a movie. It's still, like, and, like, I don't know. I still feel, like, numb to it. Like, then she basically told us, like, details about, like, what was going on with him. First thing that she said was, um, 
Sorry, I feel like I'm like blanking out right now. I don't even know. I also feel like yes. I'm like disassociating right now. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, no, so she definitely, she confirmed the trisomy 13. First, she, she said that his intestines were going on the outside of his body, which I've seen that before with babies. He can be born with his intestines outside of his body. I would just have to get a C-section, I believe, and they can just do surgery when he's born. But then she went on to say that his nuchal sac, which like, I think it's behind his neck, yeah. it was measuring at 4.3 and it's, it's supposed to be, for like a normal pregnancy, it's supposed to be at like three, um, right? max three or yeah, whatever. Max was and three. he was measuring at 4.3. So that's 1.3 off. She was saying that he had two heart defects that was like not survivable. Even if he didn't have trisomy 13, which trisomy 13 caused the heart defects, um, but let's say he didn't have trisomy 13, like he and wouldn't even make, heart, yeah. make it with the two heart defects. I just felt like an actual blur at that point, like it just, I don't even know, I didn't know what, what was gonna happen next. She basically said that like the further along my pregnancy went each week, it would become riskier and yeah. I'm pretty much like putting my life at risk, which was like a really scary thing to like, here. She was saying like each week that goes by like it just increased the risks. I didn't want you know with his two heart defects if he even made it to full term and I delivered him he wouldn't survive. I feel like that's harder to go through especially seeing. And I wouldn't want to chance him being in pain. No. I think we both knew like what was the best option even though we like could never imagine like you know no. like we were ready for him and um didn't want um him to suffer and feel any pain or any of that like that's the last thing that we would want to happen some trisomy 13 babies do survive for a couple days or a couple hours but he had such severe abnormalities like yeah. that he wouldn't make it she um let us go home and yeah, she basically said, like, it sounds like you are on the same page, but, like, let us know tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, you know, think it over, go home, like, you know. Which was, like, probably the hardest thing. It was really tough It was so, so I mean, so it was bad. tough for like, both of us, but yeah, definitely it was for just you. Like, just because, like, you're carrying the baby. Like, like you know? it was, like, the worst, still is, like, it's, like, the worst pain to, like, ever go through. Like, I just, like remember like hyperventilating right there yeah. and like it was just like I didn't never expected like especially being 12 over 12 weeks I didn't think that this would happen sorry I feel like I'm like disassociating right now like I feel like I'm like out of body no I understand um, it's, you're good baby you're good Monday we found out everything and yeah. then Wednesday um I went back to the doctor and they put me to sleep they delivered him and um gave me a DNC, um, and it was, um, it was, uh, I don't know, I feel like no one should ever have to go through that and experience, like, losing a child, and I don't know. No, I agree. And that's, uh, you know, yeah, it's just something you never wish somebody has mm -hmm. to go through. I was really thankful, though, because they did give us his footprints, which was, like, I was so happy. With it being so early in the stage and like it was all, we only had two ultrasounds like so we had our first you know ultrasound photo then we have the second ones from when we had to go in there and then it was just like to us that just felt like that's all we have you mm -hmm. know and then they had offered if you know we would want his footprints which obviously we were so thankful that that was an option just because of the fact that that was another piece of something that we can have for him. Mm -hmm. Um and then they also offered the cremation, which obviously we wanted that as well, because then again, like, that's another piece that we could have. All of the people there were so nice, and I just remember the anesthesiologist, like, holding my hand, and, like, I was just, like, a complete mess. Like, like not okay. They, they were just, like, really yeah. comforting. Like, they, um... I don't know, I just like really appreciate that because no, like... I do too because I wasn't able to be in there. So I had to literally sit in this like, I don't even know how, the room was so like tiny. And like just the fact that 
you know, she's going through that and I couldn't be by her side to hold her hand or comfort her in any way I can. But the fact that, you know, they went above and beyond Mm -hmm. and did that to make you feel comfortable is very appreciative and amazing. We were literally like days away from like sharing the news that we were expecting and it just happened so quickly and I feel like I'm still in shock like it doesn't feel real sometimes. You know I watch a movie or somebody have that father-son moment and it's just like instantly hits me. My whole feed on everything is like baby stuff and like just everything pregnancy which is like super hard and like so many of your friends are pregnant and it's yeah. like hard every Friday because like I would be another week along. No one should ever have to go through this. Like my heart goes out to anyone that's like ever had to experience something like this because yeah. the pain is so like whenever I look at this guy I just think of him and I'm so sad. I don't get it. I just wish he was still here. His name is Seven. And I keep getting so many signs from him and it makes me so happy because I feel like he's comforting me but I just wish he was still inside of me and it didn't have to like end like that. Last night I was really upset and Jalen was telling me, I'm sorry, he'll always be with us forever. And then I looked up at the TV and it was a Netflix commercial for a TV show I think it was Alice in Borderland and it was a seven of hearts card popping up so I just keep thinking of him and he, he's like showing us signs that he's with us but I don't even know what to say I'm just driving around right now because I just feel lost and I just like want him back and I'm so sad that I will never meet him or see his face or know his personality and I just hope, like, I at least have, like, a dream about him when I fall asleep. And I know one day I'll, I'll see him. I got his footprints. Went to wear the cutest little feet ever. Today, I had to fill out a form for to get his ashes, which is not something anyone should have to go through. And I'm just so sorry to him. I did get like a message from some people and I wanted to like include that because I feel like it was really comforting. Someone said, I promise you that soon your baby boy is going to handpick his little brothers and sisters and send them down straight to you, which I thought was like so sweet. And another person, your baby boy will always be yours first, no matter if you have three other kids with you, he will always be part of your family. God has a plan. He could see things later on down the line that you guys couldn't. I know it may hurt you guys so badly, but he could have just saved you you from something even worse like we appreciate everybody that's reached out and you know we have so much support from family friends you know everyone and it's like like we really appreciate it it's it's definitely tough just because like i know a lot of people don't know what to say or how to say like i know it's uncomfortable yeah like i would like i would i wouldn't i wouldn't know what to say to someone going through that i would i don't it's just not and um, we especially appreciate the people that have experienced this and reached out because you know that definitely does help it's always good to hear from people but especially if someone that is you know can relate or has been in the same situation as you we're actually gonna be moving soon because yeah. we found um we found renters for this house and we're moving into uh the bigger house because we're obviously planning for him to be here um so that's happening in a couple weeks i originally was going to take like a longer break or whatever but i just feel like if i'm like not doing something like i just feel like i'll just be depressed and like i just need to like stay busy but also like let myself grieve at the same time and not run away from it it's definitely been a lot but everything has just been appreciative from flowers the messages just our both of our families um my dad turned back around he was about to be on the plane go back he came back around my family flew you know my sister and my mom flew in the next day support from your family seven will always be our first and we'll always see seven this just sucks like it ju- yeah, i don't it even it's does. like undescribable like it's just yeah, it's 
We love you guys, and thank, thank you, you thank for you, all the support. You. And yeah, oh, okay. Let's see. Ya.